So with that said, let's come back home. Kashinat farmers in Lamu Kilifi and Kwale counties are hopeful for their re-emergence of the once thriving industry after receiving training on climate resilience, management practices and capacity building on the Kashinat value chain. Speaking during the training, Calros Director General Dr. Elliot Kiragar say the research organization has been over the years conducting extensive study including developing varieties with the potential of producing up to 1,600 kilograms from a low of 500 kgs per acre. Production of these highly valued nuts has been on the constant decline from 70 kilograms to as low as 10 kilograms per tree. He added that over 100,000 seedlings of these new varieties have been distributed to farmers, including others like Tarakaniti, in the past one year. While well, visiting some of the coastal counties either for business or pleasure, part of the highlights of these trips is to indulge in different food products associated with the region and cashew nuts is amongst these. However, they are priced exorbitantly, leaving you no choice. Mkorosho or Mbimbo, as it is commonly known, dates back to the 16th century when it was introduced to the East African coast and became a very important cash crop for the communities. Dr. Geoffrey Kamau from Calro. The cash nut industry used to be very important in these three counties. That was in the late 70s and the 80s. Uh, in 1975, there is a factory that was, uh, uh, that was uh, put up in Kilifi, in Kilifi County. The Kilifi, uh, it was the Kilifi Cashew Nut uh, Limited. And this factory used to, uh, had a capacity of processing 15,000 metric tons of cashew nuts. And the extras were being exported as raw nuts. Uh, however, and the, and, and the factory management used to provide some extension service, of course, together with the Ministry of Agriculture. However, in the, in the late 90s, something happened and the factory ended up being closed down. The challenge has been the small quantities sold by individual farmers and high cost involved in bulking sufficient nut quantities. This has made farmers to have a low bargaining power. According to Francis Monio, a senior research scientist at Calwom Twapa, another of the cashew nut industry's reason for its downfall is the powdery mildew disease. This disease attacks the flowers, young leaves, and also nuts causing a lot of loss. In some cases, it can, can cause as much as 100% uh, of the flowers can dry off, in which case the farmer gets nothing from the tree in a whole year. So we are addressing this problem through uh, trying to find disease-tolerant or resistant varieties. And, uh, Currently, we have uh, 14 cashew varieties, uh, which we, 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 uh, we have developed, and we are assessing them on the, their uh, the response to cashew powder mildew. Other problems include reliance on aged trees, poor agronomic management, fluctuating market prices, and weak farmer organizations. Lucy Injeri Kemani, a cashew nut farmer from Peketoni in Lamu County, couldn't be more pleased for taking part in the training. Katika masomo yote ambayo nimepitia, plus practice cause ambazo tumezifanya, nitaweze akuenda ground, na especially, hata vire hatujarudi nyumbani, Siku ya jana asubuhi niliweza kuongea na mama yangu nikamwambia ile mikorosho yake alikuwa amevunjika moyo kwa sababu ya wenyewe tunaenda kuirevive tena na kwa sababu hivyo itaongezea mazao na atakuwa beneficiary na jambo lingine ningeomba ni kwa sababu tuko na serikali na kama vile watu wa mount wa, wa Kiambu ama wa up country wameanza ku benefit kupitia kahawa na majani yao E, wasitu andaruk watu wa lamu ni kwa sababu huu mkorosho ndiyo kipato chetu. The challenge our farmers are having is that uh, technologies that have been developed is not reaching the farmers. So as an organization that develops these technologies, we have taken it upon ourselves through, of course, through the government to ensure that these technologies get to the farmers through training. 
We are also providing uh, seedlings to farmers, or generally planting materials, seeds and seedlings of very high quality. This is because after the training, if the materials for the farmers to use are not available, it will be a challenge. And the most important, uh, one of the most important inputs in uh, agricultural production is quality seed. Quality seed, quality inputs, good management. This is control, pest control, and those are the uh, areas that are being covered in our training programs. This comes as a sigh of relief in an effort to revive the sleeping giant. There is an increased demand for cashew nuts and its products locally and internationally, and Kenya has great potential to exploit this opportunity. Cashew is ranked third in world production of edible nuts that are traded globally. Paul Tiongo, KTN News. I'm almost tempted to say cashew nuts is for people who are after the cash and ground nuts are people who are grounded. Anyway, I won't say that. So uh, what I will say is that the shell of the cashew seed, uh, it can be used in applications, different applications, including lubricants, waterproofing, paints, and even arms production. And this has happened since uh, starting World War II. Quite an interesting fact right there on matters cashew night, but we'll stop right there. Thank you very much for watching Business Today. I'm Nokip Kimboy. Up next, we have Liria KTN. Stay tuned.